And this is the one that I think working in emerging markets, I've, I've had the most insight into, and that is that turbulence is the official climate of entrepreneurship. Stability is the friend of the status quo. Chaos is the friend of the entrepreneur. We started Endeavor in Greece in uh, 2012. Uh, we spent 15 years working in the emerging markets, and afterwards, business leaders from Greece called and said they were interested. We then went to, more recently, Spain and Miami, so I've been joking that we now also work in the submerging markets. Uh, but anyway, Greece was in the middle of its financial crisis, and people said, why on earth would you go to Greece? And I said, when economies look down, entrepreneurs look up. And we, while we've had many incredible entrepreneurs come out of Greece during that recession or come out of Egypt in the midst of revolution, I could give countless examples. My favorite two stories I'm going to tell today um, took place at a different time. One took place during the Napoleonic Wars. The Russians were invading France and looting and pillaging everything they came across, including the vineyard of Barbe Nicole Ponsardin. So Barbara Nicole was the 40-year-old widow of Francois Clicquot and had inherited a small winery. But she was very adept, and she actually did something revolutionary, which is she took the bottles, stored them in a rack, upside down, turned the bottles to freeze off the excess yeast, and it resulted in a sharper taste. Champagne to this point had been very sweet. And her 1811 vintage is considered the first modern champagne. She was a widow in French, is Veuve, so she's known as Veuve Clicquot. Now, the Russians come pillaging, everybody else is shuttering their doors, and Veuve Clicquot spots a marketing opportunity. She resolves to get the Russian army wasted. <laughs> now they drink, tomorrow they will pay, she said. So she drowned the Russians in free wine, and when Napoleon's army beat back the Russians a few months later, uh, she did it in inverse. So she gave the Napoleonic um, army the champagne flutes and the bottles, but they were riding on horses and they couldn't actually use the flutes. So instead, they took their swords and lopped off the necks of the bottles, and that is how Sabrage was created. What happened next was her biggest gambit. In the spring of 1814, right before the ceasefire was announced, Barb Nicole, who had held back that 1811 vintage, decided to take all the bottles and run the blockade and get them to St. Petersburg and Moscow. This was very dangerous. If she had been caught, she would have been ruined. But instead, she timed it perfectly. The moment the treaty was signed and the ceasefire was announced, her bottles were already appearing in Moscow. The Russians were drinking like fish, and Tsar Alexander announced he would only drink the widow. To me, this is a moment of someone seizing opportunity in chaos.